I got the highest Geekbest score on iOS 18.2 developer beta 2 slash public beta 1. That is quite surprising. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It's been three days that I'm using developer beta 2 of iOS 18.2. It is same as the public beta 1. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how is the battery performing from last three days and also what are the surprising geek batch results. So without any further delay, let's get jumped into this video and let's talk about this stuff. So for the battery, I will go into the settings. Into the settings, I will go to the battery over here and well, wait for the battery stats to load. Over here are the battery stats. This is the first day when I, when I was using 18.2 beta 2. I used my phone a lot. I used more than 100% as you can see, um, 125% and got screen on time for 9 hours and 46 minutes. When I hit 100%, it was 7 hours and 30 minutes. So I will consider that and that is really good. I use Instagram a lot, YouTube a lot, WhatsApp a lot and some other applications as you can see. If I go to the next day where I used my phone for around 75 to 80%, and I got 7 hours and 19 minutes screen on time. I was playing this game, obviously games consume more battery life. I was quite active on YouTube, WhatsApp, Instagram, X, some other applications like Threads. And for some reason, mail consumed a lot of battery in the background. On the very first day, if I go over here, if I go back, the mail app was also quite active in the background as you can see almost three hours in the background i don't know what it was doing but it is what it is today i use just 25 percent of my device i am not active today while using this device i have some other work to do but i still got three hours of screen on time almost i use instagram the reminders a bit and some other applications not quite active but after looking towards these two days i can say battery life is quite impressive it is really good uh, many people are you know, messaging me, commenting me that battery life is garbage in the 18.2 beta 2, but it is not the truth. The battery life is really good. It is quite decent. If you want to try out 18.2 features, you can try to install the 18.2 public beta 1 without any worries. So for that, what you need to do is you need to sign up for the public beta. Now, let's come back. To this video and let's talk about the performance and the shocking results i get in the geekbench score so i will go to the geekbench app over here first i will go to the cpu benchmark cpu history these are the latest results i got the highest single core score um, on any ios i haven't got this one high 2349 on a single core while 5734 on a multi-core multi-score is also really good but single core score is amazing it is way higher than the average one as you can see and way higher the average one over here in the multi-core too so scores are really good if i go back and go to the gpu benchmark gpu history over here i also get a really good battle score 21359 it is way higher than the average one when i installed the 18.2 beta 2 i got the highest score over here as you can see which was insane after using it for three days i got this score still the score is really good it is daily in terms of scores scores are really good but obviously scores are not the exact thing performance matter a lot the usage of device in daily routine matters a lot so, so far i'm using 18.2 beta 2 from last three days i haven't got to any bug i haven't seen any sort of issue at all for now everything is working really fine battery life is good performance is good so so far so good if you want to try out 18.2 developer beta 2 what you can do is you can install ios 18.2 public beta 1 it is always good to install the public betas instead of developer betas public betas are more better in terms of everything but so far everything is good for that purpose you need to sign up for the uh, public beta if you want me to make a video about that let me know in the comment section below i will let you and i will make a video about that but for now this is all from this video i just wanted to talk about two stuff everything is going so fast so good what is your experience what ios version you guys are using let me know in the comment section below also let me know about the battery life your screen or time along with the battery health of your iphone 
so everyone other can have a better idea about the performance and every other thing well this is all for this video and i will see you in my next video until then take care peace out